Hey everyone, Sean Chow here from SeanChow.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your Tesla screen swivel. Let's do it. Okay, let's take a look at what's inside. We have the instruction sheet. Looks straightforward. And then here we have the mount itself that will allow you to swivel the Tesla screen. Everything's included, including the tool. So you will need no additional tools to install this mount. It's, it's all here, every single piece. So that's really, really nice. And this here is the swivel itself. Looks like a nice solid piece of uh, metal, alloy. And what else is here? This here is the cover plate that will replace the OEM plate. And another cover plate, I guess for the underside. And then here, we have another strip and two plates, two plates. This is for the air sensor. Air sen yeah, the earlier Tesla used this air sensor and the later Tesla used this one. So uh, they give you both. So it doesn't matter which Tesla you have from earlier model or latest model, your cover. All right, so let's uh, put this thing together. The first step is to put our screen into screen cleaning mode. Um, you probably don't want the screen to be touch sensitive when you're trying to rip it apart. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So you just uh, click the car logo, go to display, go to screen cleaning mode and click that. And there you go, we are now in screen cleaning mode. Next step, we're gonna take our tools here Take the ply tool and we're gonna uh, ply off this trim that's underneath here. So let me get a video of that here. All right, so we're gonna get under here. We're gonna ply this trim piece off. Best to move the seat all the way back, I think. There you go, <laughs> easy. Okay, the next step is to remove this uh, cable here that's attached to, the air, attached to the sensor. And the way to do that is to push this in and it should pop right out. There you go. Cool. Uh, at this point, you probably wanna get a towel laid down. Uh, you could lay it down here or on top of the dash, whatever. But as we're gonna remove the screen and we need some place to put the screen. So lay down a nice uh, microfiber towel here. And then underneath here, if you look inside, you're gonna see a couple of bolts gonna see a couple of, you're gonna yeah you're gonna you're gonna see a boat here and there's one on this side as well we are gonna use the supply wrench and we're gonna remove those bolts and then we're gonna be able to pull off the screen this would be a lot easier if I had a socket set I'm gonna try and do it with just the tools that they gave me Oop, there you go one down one more to go man why didn't they give me a socket they had to give me a wrench. This would be so much easier with a socket. Oh, there you go. All right, got both of them off. Now, just a matter of yanking this off. So just yeah, move it and it should pop out. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. All right, so let's get this bolts out of the way. Okay, so what we see here, this is the inside. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna remove this plate with two, there's two torque screws, one here and one there. Use a little torque wrench and remove that. Okay, Oop. save those screws. <laughs> Lucky if I went to the cup holder. Now we just need to unplug the wire and we'll disconnect the screen. Oops. Okay. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, okay, so I think I'll I'll put this up on the dash for now. Yep. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna remove this piece. No longer need it, because then we replace. Now we're gonna a swivel bracket. Gonna put it in there. Okay, and then we're gonna use the uh, the bolt that was used on that. We're gonna screw that. We're gonna screw that in. Ah, this is much much easier when there's no screen in the way. Nice and tight. There you are. Yeah, I like it. Okay, now we're gonna attach the replacement bracket. Put these wires through here. Put it up to there. It should snap right into place. Oh, wow. <laughs> That looks damn OEM. Okay. Let's put this on. And now we got using the two new supply screws and the Allen key. Cool. I just I just did this by feel. <laughs> okay, nice and tight. Okay. Okay, next what we're gonna do is we need to remove this temperature sensor and then attach it to this holder. Since I have the newer Tesla, I'm using the newer holder. If you have the old Tesla, you'll be using this one. So. The one item they did not supply is the torque wrench to remove, to remove this. Uh, luckily, I do have one. <laughs> yeah, luckily I do have one, so. I'm not sure if my kid was just missing the torque wrench. Or maybe it was an oversight, but uh, it did not have its. So luckily I do have it here, so. Oh, so much easier, put that in there. So this comes off, don't need this anymore. We're gonna plug it in here. Only goes in one way, so that's incorrect. That's correct. Okay, now it's just a matter of attaching this, reattaching the sensor and then plugging this in. Okay, there we go. Looking good. Okay, all done. Let's uh, exit. Now, you, you'll probably want to put all the original OEM pieces uh, yeah, in the box to save it, because you never know. One day you might want to restore it back to original specs in case you sell the car or it's a lease or whatever, you gotta return it. So you have this all in here and you can easily switch it back to OEM. Let's check this out. So, regular mode. If I want to still tort me, I just move it like that and 
Oh yeah, now it's within my line of sight, and I get that is, I think that's an improvement. Yeah, I can see it out of the corner of my eyes, and I can now watch movies directly on the site, and then my passenger wants it. There you go. Passenger side, or right smack in the middle. So this is the uh, screen rotating bracket from Hanso Technology. They actually have two versions. Like this version rotates it left and right by 30 degrees. They also have a new version that rotates left and right by 30 degrees, but also up and down by 15 degrees. So uh, if you want that, that will give you a little more control instead of just left and right. You get up and down as well. A little more money, but yeah, uh, might be worth it if, you, if that's what you need. But this, uh, I just have the, uh, the left and right version, which is uh, good enough for me. Links to this product is in the description below this video. Hanso Technology from Guangzhou, China, my hometown. Yeah, so give them some love by taking them a visit and I will have a coupon code, coupon code John Chow. It will give you 15% off on any product that Hanso sells. So do check them out. And I want to thank Hanso for sending me this product up for review. John Chow for JohnChow.com. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, like and share it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys next time.